I've got a plan to entertain you all and kind of entertain myself and let Jared off the hook for if he needs a weekend off now and then because he does. Because I do. (laughs) Because uh, let me explain the reason why Chris is having to do this. So Netherworld for the first time all year is running a Little Monsters event. And the Little Monsters event is a chance for all the kids to go along to Netherworld who normally could not go to Netherworld because they're too young. Um, to go there before the pub opens and um, get a bag of tokens and go to blips and shits <laughs> and, and go crazy and have fun. So, uh, yeah, I they've been pestering me for ages. Go, oh, when is the next Little Monsters on? Can we go? And I said, well, now's your chance. Let's go do it. And it's school holidays. So that's why next Sunday is no can do for recording. So what are you going to do, Chris? So here's the plan. Because... Apparently, people like watching gameplay videos, <laughs> and, mm. which is, I don't know, it's a mystery to me. I enjoy playing. I'm not much for watching. Uh, but I've now done this a few times, and each time those videos have gotten quite a lot of views. So mm. I thought I would start a new series of play here. We're going to call this 10-Minute Pinball. Mm. And what it will be is I will play one particular table for 10 minutes. And my current idea is that uh, it's just what is the high score I can get within that 10 minutes. If I'm out within three minutes, I start it back up again and and try. Or if I'm just blazing on the table, I stop right at 10 minutes. And that'll be it. That'll be my high score. My question becomes, though, a factor of should I have different rules? Uh, You know, should it be a thing where... Hey, I only get one chance at this. Uh, can I, if I'm playing on FX3, can I use upgrades and you know the 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 wizard upgrade and the passive upgrades, or do I only have to play it straight? Um, obviously, this can vary and change, and I think I will kind of leave it up to the audience as to what that's going to be. The way I'll do this though is in one sitting. I'll probably do five different tables, but they're all going to be either five tables from Zen, five tables from TPA, or five tables from Zacharia, because it's really hard to switch between programs and still have the broadcast feeding. Yeah, it it, (laughs) is. Yeah. So but you need to like pick pick your um pick your program. Yeah. So so right. So it'll be uh, pick the program, and then within that, pick five tables, and I would like you, the audience, to determine what those are going to be. And while you're... So it'll be... Post your five tables that you want me to play. Post them to our uh, Twitter account, at Blockade. And whichever one gets the most likes, that'll probably be the one that I do. And if you want to create your own rules for me within that 10 minute, uh, I'd be I'd be fine with that. Hmm. I would even be willing to, you know, Piece, uh, put a piece of you know tape a piece of paper over my flippers on the screen if you want to be play blind pinball. Um, not that that would translate Tommy necessarily. Mode. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Tommy mode. <laughs> you know, what I reckon you should do. You should do um, shaky cam video demo mode and only play with one flipper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and all you could do is just play with one flipper while holding um, the webcam. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yep, that that's how you play. Uh, that's how, that's how real people players play. That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, anyway, and then and then I will. So when I do those, though the, the the five tables in a row, that will be live streaming, like I did on the Gottlieb. And so yeah. you guys can comments will be flowing up there for all to see. And uh, you know, feel free to rag on me and entertain me while I'm doing this because I find that when I'm playing, I don't do so well at talking and playing at the same time. Like. Mm. They both kind of suffer. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, you know, heavy heavy narration while you're playing is really hard. It's um, really I think, you know the odd reaction to what the ball's doing. Like I see, you know, I actually decided to watch a full stream of Rick and Morty that Dead Flip did the other day, just because I needed to understand how to actually get the wizard pin at Netherworld because they got they got a wizard pin that you need to get twenty million on that game, and that is not easy <laughs> so when how can i get this wizard pin i need to watch dead foot playing it and through doing that and watching him live stream um 
I find that he's very much the same. Like he doesn't tend to commentate a lot during a ball, but what he'll do is he will play a ball and then when it drains, he'll then flick over to the comments and interact with the community that way. And then when he's finished doing that, he'll then switch back into gameplay again. And that right. works really well. That's a right. really nice balance. So that so that's the plan. That's what uh, what I'm proposing to do. We I will do it. So obviously next week, uh, Jared's already out. So I'll just log it in mm -hmm. right now uh, on that Saturday. What is that? Saturday the 18th at uh, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard. I'll be going live and playing five tables, and you guys can uh, jump in and comment as well. Uh, if I don't see any comments <laughs> throughout the week, which I know you guys in the pinball community sometimes are reticent to join in on community functions uh, to determine these kind of things, I'll, I'll wind up picking some tables myself. But otherwise, uh, I reckon you should have a like pick a ra random set of rules out of a hat. Just have the hat ready to go. And this, this randomize it. Like, just randomize it? Thing. Yeah, I reckon. That'd be pretty cool. All right. So, mm. you know, if you don't want to pick the tables for me, maybe write some rules that you think I can uh, throw into a, a random hat. Anyway, that's going to... Make them really horrible for Chris, please, <laughs> everyone. Like, make them horrible. Like, you know, have to just swap flippers around and stuff like that. That'd be great. Uh, how am I going to swap flippers around? If you just hold your control like that. Oh, upside <laughs> down? Yeah. <laughs> no, you use your pin controller, man. Like yeah. use that thing sit behind you. Like, yeah, you that know. doesn't. Well, no, that one, I can't use it for streams because of how my cameras are set up and everything. It, it's. Oh, I've right. tried. It's really difficult to. It's really difficult. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, just seems like a convenient excuse to me. But. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and then I will post uh, the actual ten minute clips. I mean, they're going to be a little bit longer, but that's going to be the idea of, of each individual table. That'll be, you know, mini episodes all, all throughout mm -hmm. the week. So if you don't want to, if you're not there for the live all of them in a row stream, that's going to be the only time that you're going to be able to see that. Because as soon as I'm done recording that, I'm taking that that's offline awesome. and yep. chopping it up. So that'll be the so only be there time. Or be square. Yeah. So <laughs> if, you, if you want to be part of the, the full live long play experience that will be the only way that you'll be able to do that otherwise you're just going to have to watch a bunch of the uh, smaller bids which mm. works in our favor is what we're doing <laughs> yeah well that's right it, it's it's definitely good 